Hey there, everybody. How you doing? Lee Stranahan. I'm going to do the usual blah, blah, blah. I'm here at the offices at Citizen Journalism School. It is 11, 12, my time, East Coast time. So it's not that, it's not technically the midnight oil. It's technically the 45 minutes to midnight oil, but whatever. Let's let that go. Thepopulous.us is my new site. It is ad free. I have a PayPal link up, by the way, right now. Trying to raise a little bit of money tonight because got bills to pay, um, but uh, trying to do that. Or you can go over to citizensjournalismschool.com and check that out. Also, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, retweet this puppy. Also, subscribe on Periscope. Also, oh hey look, here's my next news network. Mike, hi, Lee Stranahan. How are you? I always dress better. It's not magic. But this is the mic that I use to do the reports I'm doing from Next News Network. Also, Fault Lines with Nixon and Stranahan is the radio show I co-host with Garland Nixon. Every day, uh, Monday through Friday, Radio Sputnik. It's a great show. People seem to like it. Hi. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about a couple things. I want to talk briefly about something I talked about a little bit earlier, which is the chilling effect of the Chobani thing and the Streisand effect. If you're not, are you familiar with the Barbara Streisand effect? Just gonna ask. Do people know what that is? I'm just asking. That's that. Okay. Uh, a few people jumped in. Okay. This the Barbara Streisand effect is a few years ago. Barbara Streisand was having a wedding, <clears throat> and they they were gonna, the paparazzi were gonna fly like I, I might have parts of the story wrong, but they were gonna fly like a, a helicopter or something. So she like sued them. And of course what happened was then everybody covered her wedding. Does that make sense? Like everybody covered it. So <clears throat> that's the Streisand effect basically. It's one of the problems of bringing attention to negative press, right? So Chobani is suing Alex Jones. Now, <clears throat> and I tweeted a few things about this earlier. I'm gonna do a story about it at the populist later. But here's the thing. I hope that Chobani understands the Streisand effect now. By suing Alex Jones, who, here's the thing. Uh, read New York Times v. Sullivan. I posted it earlier, okay? I think it's important to get reporting correct. That being said, you're never gonna get, be able to get reporting completely correct all the time. You're just not. That's what New York Times v. Sullivan was about. This was a big Supreme Court case. <clears throat> and basically one of the things it said is that reporting the news is a little sloppy sometimes. And that as long as you didn't have malice, which meant you were you know, trying to hurt the person, or a blatant disregard for the truth. And these are both high standards to set. You dig? Uh, then you basically you couldn't win a lawsuit on First Amendment grounds. And this initially applied, New York Times v. Sullivan applied to government employees like Shirley Sherrod, by the way. Remember her? She was a government employee, by the way. But forget the legal stuff for a second, because I am not a lawyer. I am I am not a lawyer is another way of saying I anal. I didn't make that up, it's the acronym. But I am not a lawyer, but it's a telling acronym. But I am not a lawyer, but, it's just true, spell it out, um, thank God. But I am a journalist, and I will tell you that these lawsuits, the purpose of them is to shut you down. So what they're trying to do is Chobani, who is closely aligned with Hillary Clinton, closely aligned with the Obama administration, and as you could see in that recent 60 Minutes piece, it's a, it's, this is a big company owned by Pamela Yulikaya, right? They don't, when they don't like reporting, they're suing somebody over it. Now, I don't know what they went through. I'm not a lawyer, I don't work for Infowars, I don't work for Alex Jones. I've been critical of some of Alex Jones' reporting. But the point of this, the point of these lawsuits is to shut people up and it works. And I experienced it firsthand when I was reporting on Twin Falls. So what I'm gonna do is I got a bunch of other work to do. 
Uh, but I'm going to put up some Twin Falls stuff, and I'm going to do some new reporting on Twin Falls. You dig? You listening, Chobani? I hope you're listening. And I hope you look up the Streisand effect because you've just done it. And here's what I want you to do. Retweet the stories. Let Chobani know what you think. This is a free country still. And if, if Chobani doesn't like some reporting and they want to request a retraction, again, I don't know if they did that with Alex. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Maybe they're just picking on Infowars. And maybe the next person they're going to pick on would be, well, I won't say Breitbart because they kind of did that already. I can't go into it. <laughs> but they, they shut my reporting down and not because it was inaccurate. Because they didn't like it. Because I showed how Chobani was directly connected and a tool. Here, let's try this, shall we? Oh, one second. This is going to sound like I'm making it up. Hang on one second. I just want to make sure this works. Yeah, okay. So here's what I want you to do. Ready? Try this. I just made sure it worked. Try this on YouTube. If you're, if you're at a browser, bring it up right now. Bring up a browser. Just on, like I have a computer right here. Try it. When, you, if, when a few people have a browser, just tell me when you got it up. This is, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> You're really not going to believe this. Okay, so one person's got a browser up. Let's just see a few other people. So go to YouTube, just YouTube.com. Ready? <laughs> and in the search bar at the top, type in Chobani, which is C-H-O-B-A-N-I. That's the first word, Chobani. Second word, lesbian. That's right, lesbian ad or commercial. Right, I know, I know, you, it sounds like I'm making it up. Type in Chobani lesbian ad or Chobani lesbian commercial. You see it auto-completes, right? I know, I know, people are shocked. People are shocked. Now, now, it's only 30 seconds. Watch, let's watch the lesbian ad together, shall we? Just let's, I'm gonna put it on. Oops, hang on. A lesbian ad made me. What? Nick Chobani Simply 100. 100 calories. Naturally sweet. And simply delicious. It's real. <laughs> it's real. It's real. That's a real ad from Chobani. That's a real ad from Chobani. Never had a boyfriend. No, I've it's just sort of, it's, it's just, now, what's interesting is, <laughs> uh, now, by the way, don't make, the obvious thing you could do and don't do it because it's totally wrong and probably homophobic and you don't want to be that is don't make don't ask where the gay Chobani is and mention it and don't mention that it's Greek yogurt because it's it's wrong you see what I'm saying no Milo jokes seriously don't make the Milo jokes because they're too obvious yeah so no I know he's not Greek he's Turkish he's he's not American so anyway, that's the, no, no, so here's the thing. You just, if, what do you think of that? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Hang on one second. So here's why, I'm gonna tell you why. It's very interesting. So one second. There's a bunch of ads about the list. So, when that ad came out, June 2015, let's just look that up. June 2015, 
What was going on? What was going on? What was going on? Ready? That came out in June. Ah, hang on. Look, I don't know if you can read that. This is May. Presidential Proclamation, LGBT Pride Month. You dig? Hang on. This was a political move on, on Chobani's part. Go look it up. You'll find it. You'll find it. This is a political move on the Chobani's part. Chobani is deeply connected. You can do this on Twitter. Try this on Twitter. Uh, try doing a Twitter search for at... Uh, one second. At Hillary Clinton. One second. So do a search for at Hillary Clinton and at Chobani in the same search. Does that make sense? I don't want you to take my, my word for it. Oh, well, let me see. It's not coming up. Latest people? No. Where is it? Oh, I'm not going to get into the whole Twitter advanced search. What you'll find is it's not. Okay, try this. Do this then. Just go to the Google and just do a search for Hillary Clinton tweet Chobani. Okay? Here you, here you go. You'll find multiple tweets. Here, let me just show you real quick. Right? So Hillary Clinton was explicitly doing stuff with Chobani. She congratulated him multiple times. And here's the way this would work. This is how globalism works, right? If you want to suck up to politicians, you go along with their agenda. So I got to point out that, oh my gosh, hang on. So this is the deal. If, oh, my iPad wants to fall over. Sorry. Stop. Okay. So here's the deal. If you want to suck up to politicians, you go along with their agenda, you dig? So when they have gay rights month, so for instance, they've done, uh, Chobani's done this multiple times in their career, multiple, multiple times in their career. They'll do something that goes along with Hillary Clinton's agenda. What you're going to find is Hamdi Yulkai was very political. When Obama was pushing the Gang of Eight bill, okay, the Gang of Eight bill, who went to the White House to lobby for it and do it at a conference? Hamdi Yulakaya, the head of Chobani, over and over and over again. Maybe that's a story I should write. Is just showing all the different times they've come up politically. Just a real simple, straightforward, okay? So the reason the lesbian ad came up is because at the time, the Democrats were pushing the LGBT agenda. Now, whether you agree with that agenda or not, I'm pointing out to you that this is a company, for instance, who explicitly and on purpose is proud that they hire a lot of Muslim refugees. How do you think the Muslim refugees feel about the lesbian yogurt ad, right? Probably opposed, that doesn't make any difference. You don't need to have any consistency here whatsoever. So this is, this is all I'm trying to point out to you. And they don't like this stuff being pointed out. They don't like it being pointed out. So what they're doing now is they're suing Alex Jones. And they're suing Alex Jones to try to shut people like me up. Guess what? It's had the opposite effect. You dig? Not working. Had the exact opposite effect, and I'm going to keep writing about it. So that's what I've been doing. Anyway, that's it. You guys do some research on your own. Check it out. And be careful. Like I said, I mean, this is the thing, and I've told people this. Someone recently contacted me. They said they're interested in doing some work on Chobani. I said, be very careful, because they like to sue people, and they like to threaten to sue people. Right? Right? Not cool. Oh, but okay, you, is that the way you want to play? Right? Okay, let's, let's play. You want to play? Let's play. That's fine. That's fine. This is the thing about doing good journalism. Now, final thing I'm going to say. I got a PayPal to a link up. Do me a favor if you can. Again, I'm trying to raise a few bucks tonight. Got some bills to pay. Got one bill. If I can get 60 bucks in right now, I can pay one bill like boom, like that. And otherwise, I can't do it. But if you do do that, that'd be great. Otherwise, if you want to go to citizenjournalismschool.com, we got a big deal uh, for you right now. If the deal is going to go, the price is going to go up soon. 
and it's a great time to get into citizen journalism school because we're about to expand the school with a flood of new lessons, new courses, and everything else. I got more to say. We're redesigning the graphic look. We're upgrading the whole thing. To everybody who's in citizen journalism school already, we're going to add all these new features and the price isn't going up. You're going to pay the same price you've been paying, right? The way it works is there's never going to be a sale at Citizen Journalism School. Never. There's never going to be a point where you get less for your money. I hate that as a consumer. I hate buying something and then it goes on sale the next week. Right? Don't you? So we get a different business model here. The price will constantly go up, will never go back down. And if you, it's 50 bucks a month for Citizen Journalism School right now. That price is going to go up as soon as we're done with all these renovations. In a few weeks, the price is going to go up a little bit. Not going to go up a lot, but it's a little bit. And over the course of a year or two, it makes a difference, right? But the price will never go down. So if you sign up now for 50 bucks a month, it's not going to be 25 ever. It's not going to be 25 at Christmas time. Okay? We grandfather stuff in. And the reason why is we're constantly adding new material. It's constantly a better value for your money. That's the way it works. This is the business model. I'm very clear about this. Hold me, you can hold me to it, period. I'm telling you, this is the way it works. Therefore, if you, people who bought in as the guinea pig program, they're paying less than 50 bucks a month. They got in at like 29 or something like that because they were buying a pig and a poke. We had very, you know, we didn't, we were just getting material up there. Now, as we're making all of these upgrades, as we're doing more and more, if you sign up now, you're locked into that price forever. And the other thing that we're doing right now, we have a deal if you sign up for a year, you get a free year hosted WordPress site of your own with the domain that you want. That's all in there right now. It's a good deal. And we offered it to people who signed up before we made that deal. We offered them that deal as well. Does that make sense? So that's another thing that we did. So. A lot more material coming to Citizen Journalism School. Uh, since I'm not working at Breitbart, I got a little bit more time to do this. We have a lot more stuff coming. I made some films for you at citizenjournalismschool.com. Check it out. That's two ways you can help us keep the lights on. Not that, by the way, the electricity is covered in my office here. So technically, when I pay the rent, it's not the lights. The lights aren't suddenly going to go out. It's a metaphor. Okay, anyway, that's it. Hopefully I made you a little smarter on Chobani, on censorship, on how they should chill on the chilling effect. Don't like it very much. There you go. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.